hi in this video I will show you how to get a distinct values from an array so here in this example I'm going to use two list so list a and list B in the column I got a column called UNR here I got a couple of numeric values and also as you can see here some of the values are duplicated same for list B as well so in list B I'm going to use the column called SREF and again there are a couple of values duplicated so the objective is we need to merge these two columns into one array and get the distinct values okay so let's go back to power automate so here I'm going to use the SharePoint connector the same technique you can use for Excel or CDS uh, connector or any other connector okay get items is action stuff uh, we need for this okay SharePoint list A okay next we need a data operation called select so what select does is it um, it, get, it collects the values uh, from the previous step and returns as an array actually so uh, what I'm after here is let's select the previous value and the column I'm after is the UNR I'll show you in a minute here so that's UNR here these are the values I'm after here and map the UNR here dynamic column okay next step again SharePoint get items select the list B actually use another select select the values from the previous step and the column I am going to use here is SREF but remember this is quite important if you got two different columns and if you want to merge that into one distinct array you need to have the mapping name as the same name so here I used UNR you need to use UNR here it won't work with another name here that won't merge together now in here I need to map the S rough okay so remember the mapping header name should be the same for both columns okay next I'm going to use a compose so here in the compose I'm going to use an expression uh, in your case you can use uh, an initialized variable as an array type and also under the value you can use the expression which I'm going to show you now okay compose the expression we need to use here is the union okay so we need to get the first select and the second select so both are arrays actually remember so the first select output comma second select output okay so suppose you only got one single array and you want to get the distinct values all you need to use here is union and use the same name two times so that means body select and again body select that's all you need to use there and remember you can have more than one arrays under the union you can see the syntax here if I put a comma here you can see see I can I can add another collection also as a, another array collection I don't know what some maximum limitation is I haven't tested that yet okay so let's test this here is the result so under the output you can see here 850, 200, 100, 300, 450, 650, 950. So let's go back to list A and B. So you can see here it's removed all the duplicates here and collected all the distinct values. Same with list B also from this column as SREF and merged into one array actually. Okay. So remember for this. Um, operation we need to use the union expression which gets which will return the distinct values from an array thank you for watching